Directed by Martin Scorsese and starring Leonardo DiCaprio as Teddy, Shutter Island features an ending left open to interpretation. It could be perceived as puzzling and confusing in the context of the whole movie, but what does it all mean? Let's break it down and see. To start, let's recap the ending. Spoilers ahead. During the ending scene, Dr. Sheehan, played by Mark Ruffalo, sits down with Teddy, who we learn is actually named Andrew. Dr. Sheehan tells Andrew that he made up his entire identity as U.S. Marshal Edward Teddy Daniels in order to escape from the hard reality that he unalived his wife. In that moment, Andrew realizes who he really is. Andrew is then told by Dr. Callie, played by Sir Ben Kingsley, that he realized who he really was before, only to relapse back into becoming Teddy once again. Andrew is then told that if his current treatment fails, he will be lobotomized. As the conversation continues, Andrew begins to drift back into his Teddy persona. Realizing that his treatment has failed, Dr. Kali shakes his head and prepares to perform a lobotomy. Before he is taken away, Andrew asks Dr. Sheehan the question, if it is worse to live as a monster or to die as a good man. Then Andrew is taken to be lobotomized. The ending is effective because it resolves the main plot but it does not provide complete closure, leaving plenty of room for interpretation. What makes this ending uniquely special is its subtle and smart revelation of Andrew's psychological plight. Because the movie centers around a patient and his doctor, it's only natural for us to try to look at the ending from a psychoanalytic point of view. After losing his three children because of his wife's untreated mental illness, Andrew commits the act against his wife. This is enough to send anyone to an asylum for the rest of their lives. Perhaps Andrew is mostly delusional, but the comment about dying a good man is a moment of clarity and an otherwise confused haze. And with an ending like this, you can never be 100% sure. The ending has closure for the character, even if we, as the audience, don't. We know Andrew is going to be lobotomized, but the question of how much control and choice he has over his madness remains. One could forever talk about this ending and what it represents. It has a clear thematic meaning, and it presents possible questions that linger with you after each viewing. Answers to Shutter Island's ending are still being pondered over today. 